guys, today I'm going to be making gluten-free Toll House cookies. I'm going to follow the normal recipe for the Toll House cookies, but I'm going to be substituting King Arthur's gluten-free multi-purpose flour and adding just a little bit of xanthan gum. I'll put all the measurements and ingredients down below. I'm using a KitchenAid mixer. I'm going to start off by creaming the butter, the white sugar, and brown sugar. The butter and the sugars have been creamed. I'm now going to add the eggs and vanilla. I've added all the dry ingredients, so I'm going to start off by mixing it on low, and then I'll scrape down the bowl. Now I'm going to add one bag of Simi Sweet chocolate chip morsels. I'm going to do half with just chocolate chips, and then I'm going to fold in some chopped walnuts. My son doesn't like nuts, so I want to do half and half. I'm now going to fold in some walnuts. Here are just the plain chocolate chip cookies without nuts. I'm cooking them on a Silpat liner. I used a cookie scoop to help measure them out. I'm going to bake them in a 375 degree oven for approximately 8 to 10 minutes. My cookies are all done. They took about 11 minutes. They're nice and golden brown. They smell wonderful. I'm now going to remove them and cool them on a wire rack. My gluten-free chocolate chip cookies are all done. I'm going to let them completely cool on the wire rack. I'll keep some out on a platter, covered, and then I'll freeze the remaining cookies. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.